Today, we're going to try a method of cooking ribs that I've never tried before. Honestly, I'm a pretty big naysayer, and that's the 3 2 1 method. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We're going to find out. So, I've got this whole rack of spare ribs. We're not going to do much trimming. We'll take off anything that's just thin and maybe burn during the cook. That's it. I'm going to leave all the fat on because fat's flavor, as we say every episode. And then, on the back, you've always got this flappy meat. We don't need it. Really, I've not found anything it's good for. People say, ah, save it and put it in your beans. Just throw it in the garbage. I'm not going to save that little piece. Then all you got to do is pull the membrane. You've seen us do it before. Just grab a corner and pull. If it starts to tear, just get another grip and rip her on off. It's that simple. And always wash your hands. And we're back. So now let's get out our binder. Let me tell you what I think about a binder. You don't need a binder. If you've got six hours to cook ribs, you've got 30 minutes to let that rub sweat in. So basically, it's gonna be simple. We're just gonna run some Mojo barbecue. Get a heavy dose on the back, and we're gonna let her set for, let's say 15, hold on brother, you missed a little bit. All right, let me get that there. All right, now we're gonna let her set 15 minutes, and this is what you got. See, you don't need no mustard. Flip her over, repeat the process, good, get a good load on the front. And what do we do then? We let it set. Set for 15, hold on, there's a fly. Get rid of the fly. Ha! Ha! All right, sorry about that. It was just, I couldn't pass that up. We're gonna cover this with foil, keep the fly poop off of it. We're gonna let it set for 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is up, we looking good and it's time to cook. So, Today, let's cook on the pellet. We're gonna just hang out, so might, might, might as well make it easy. We're gonna put these on, running at 225 degrees. I'm gonna run hickory and cherry throughout the whole cook. So here goes our first three hours. Let's shut the lid. I'll tell you what, let's check it an hour and a half and see if we need a spritz. I don't think I need a spritz. So let's shut the lid back down. We're gonna finish out that other hour and a half. And here you have it, three hours in. Hey, got a good bark, I can't scrape it off. And I'm a fan of cooking by color. And this looks pretty colorful. Be a good time to get those little black pieces off the end of your bones. Let's get ready to wrap. Get you a couple sheets full, shiny side up. Don't know why, that's just what we do. Get you a 20 ounce can pineapple slices just because my hometown does not believe in fresh pineapples right now get them laid out on a sheet about eight of them that'll work pull it back get it centered up for the camera that way you can see what i'm doing then we're going to add the say a quarter cup of light brown sugar i'm a fan of light brown sugar use dark if you want to then get you some tahini it's a chili lime seasoning get you a dose of that Right here is a Honey Habanero Glaze by Triple Nine Swine. I love it. If not, just if you don't have it, use regular honey. Lay that on, burn the crap out of your fingers, and add you a little bit more tahini on the back. I think that's going to be it. Well, I had two slices left. Don't think it's going to do any good, but we'll eat them later. Then wrap her up nice and tight. This is my wrapping technique. I don't know, I fold one side over, one side back, one side. Now you'll see what I'm doing. Once we get that folded good and snug, add your splash of pineapple juice in there for a little more moisture. And finish off the wrap. Now this rack was so big, had a little gapping hole in the middle. So we're going to add another sheet just to make sure that steam stays inside. Then we're back on the grill at 225 for two hours. Let's make up a glaze. Get you another can of pineapple slices, throw them in the blender, give them a spin. Dump them in, then a little shot of pineapple juice, three tablespoons of light brown sugar, say 
two tablespoons of sriracha. It's barbecue. We need a little heat. Then cut the sweetness a little bit. Let's put in a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Just keep the chili lime flavor going. We're going to add a little tahini, a little more, a little more. And give her a stir. About 15 minutes that thickens up a little bit over medium heat. And time to get the ribs off. This is uh, two hours in. They look tender. Let me taste this pineapple here and see. Oh, crap. 200 degree pineapple hurts the old tongue. But the ribs do look good. I, I, there's no denying that. And they're plenty tender. Believe you me. I'm going to try to slap them over here without breaking them. Now we got to get ready for that one hour back on. I'm just going to hit the back with some mojo and with that glaze. Get a good bit on there, rubber in. Make sure you get your bones. Always get your bones. Flip her over. Let's take care of the top. And what we're doing here to the top, I just want to dry these reels back out just a little bit. So we're going to hit her with another shot a mojo barbecue because it's the best and a half a shot of tahini i'm gonna put these back on the grill not on the rack i mean not on the pan i'm gonna yeah anyway let that dry for about 30 minutes and then since it's dark outside this was what i'd be doing to glaze them every 10 minutes until that hour's up and they look like this what can i say they look good drawback color hey let's just let them sit here for let's say 15 minutes and we're gonna dig into them and somebody forgot the mash record button so this is the second take on eating ribs and it does not hurt my feelings one bit i want you to look at these they've got moisture they're tender but yet i think they're still gonna stay on the bone well, I know they are because I've already ate one. So let's take a bite to show you. You get a good clean bite and you can pop that bone right out. I like the sweetness of the pineapple, a little bit of heat. And believe it or not, the lime from that rub, it shines too. So this 4th of July, give them a try. The family will love it. Plus, you're going to have all the time in the world. Just sit around and cook. If you like what we're doing here, go over here hit that subscribe button man it means the world to us and i hope y'all have a safe holiday don't drink and drive see ya